In this video, we will go through the computation questions from one CXC CSEC paper to examination. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and attempt each part. If you are stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. Last chance to pause the video. Okay, let's go. 1A part 1. With bud mass, we usually divide before we subtract. But we always do brackets first. In this case, we have to subtract before we divide. One other thing to note. We are asked to find the exact value. If we convert these numbers to decimals, we will not get the exact value. Because one third is a recurring decimal. One divided by three is equal to point three 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 recurring. Four and one third is equal to four point three 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 and recurs indefinitely. So if we convert four and a third to a decimal, it will no longer be exact. We'll have to approximate a value stop at a certain amount of decimal places. Similarly, four divided by fifteen is also a recurring decimal. Four divided by fifteen is equal to 0.26 with the 6 recurring indefinitely. So if you convert 4 over 15 to a decimal, we'll also lose the accuracy. We'll no longer get an exact answer. So in this question, we have to work with fractions. Having a calculator that can work with fractions is very useful in this exam. Nonetheless, I'll show you the working without a calculator. So as I said earlier, we need to work out what's in brackets first and then divide. Let's, let's work out the subtraction. 4 and 1 third minus 1 and 2 fifths is equal to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And the LCM of 3 and 5, the LCM of 3 and 5 is equal to 15. 1 third as a fraction over 15. The denominator is multiplied by 5. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. So we multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 5. 5 over 15. Subtract 2 fifths as a fraction over 15. We have to change the denominator from 5 to 15. So we multiply it by 3. So we need to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. 5 cannot subtract 6 to give a positive number, so we're going to borrow 1 from the 3. If we borrow 1 from 3, we remain with two whole numbers. A whole number over 15 is equal to 15. 15 over 15 is equal to 1 whole. So we add 15 to 5. 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. 20 minus 6 is equal to 14. We get 2 and 14 over 15. So the sum becomes 2 and 14 over 15 divided by 4 over 15. Converting the mixed number to an improper fraction, 2 multiplied by 15 is equal to 30. 30 plus 14 is equal to 44. We have 44 over 15 divided by 4 over 15. To divide by 4 over 15 is the same as multiplying by 15 over 4. The 15s would cancel. 15 into 15, 1. 15 into 15, 1. 44 and 4 can cancel. 4 could go into both 4 and 44. 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 44, 11. 11 multiplied by 1 is 11. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 11 over 1 is the same as 11. The answer to 1A part 1 is 11. Part 2, with bud mass, we work out what's in brackets, then the powers, and then we divide. Also with fractions, we must know that we work out the numerator separately, the denominator separately, and the last thing we do with fractions is we divide that fraction. So what we start with, we'll start with the numerator, 3.1 subtract 1.15 decimal points one below the other 
you said zero is a placeholder. Zero subtract five cannot. So we need to borrow one. If we take one from the tenth column, we remain with zero. One tenth is equal to ten hundredths. So we have ten plus zero hundredths here. Ten plus zero is equal to ten. Ten subtract five is equal to five. We have zero tenths, so we need to borrow one from the ones column. Borrowing one from three remains with two. We get ten tenths. So we have ten plus zero is equal to ten. Subtract one is equal to nine. Right back to the decimal point below the others. Two subtract one is equal to one. So so far we have three point one minus one point one five is equal to one point nine five. One point nine five squared divided by 0 0.005 1.95 squared so 1.95 multiplied by 1.95 we're going to do the multiplication with all the decimal points we add them in after so 195 multiplied by 195 5 by 1 is 5 9 by 1 is 9 1 by 1 1 Five nines are forty-five. We have four tens. Send it to the column to the left. Nine nines are eighty-one and four is eighty-five. One nine is nine plus eight is seventeen. Five fives are twenty-five. Nine fives are forty five and two is forty seven. One five is five and four nine. Using zeros as placeholders. Five plus zero plus zero is equal to five. Five plus seven plus zero is equal to twelve. Nine plus one is ten. Plus 10 is 20. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. 1.95 multiplied by 1.95. Two decimal places being multiplied by two decimal places. So the answer has 2 plus 2, four decimal places. One, two, three, four. The answer is three point eight zero two five. So now we have three point eight zero two five divided by zero point zero zero five. And we know when we are dividing decimals, we need to divide by a whole number. So let's multiply each by 10 to the power of 3 to move the decimal place 3 spaces to the right to have 3802.5 divided by 5 which is equal to 3802.5 divided by 5 5 into 38 7 Seven five are thirty five. Thirty eight minus thirty five is equal to three. Bring down the zero, we have thirty. Five into thirty is equal to six. Six five are thirty. We have zero bring down the two. Five into two is equal to zero. Zero fives are zero. To get two, bring down the five. 5 into 25 is equal to 5. Put decimal point over the other. The answer is equal to 760.5. Of course, we could have just punched these values into the calculator. 3.1, 3.1, subtract 1.15 is equal to 1.95. 1.95 squared 
over 0 0.005 1.95 squared is equal to 3.8025 which is equal to 760.5 760.5 We are told to record the exact answer using the calculator or otherwise so feel free to use the calculator it's much quicker I am Mr. Dubé Remember to get the most out of my channel please view the videos in order using the playlist If you found this video useful please like this video If you are new to this channel please subscribe Join me in the next video.